Okay, so now we're on number three, and um, we want to make sure that we can see this side by side again. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the top of this. Don't forget, you have to double click if you want to grab it this way. Okay, so you have to double click here, um, double tap, and or you can just grab right here. So I'm just going to grab right here. And um, oops, I let go on accident. And I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm going to move it. Um, let's move it over here. So move it until you see that white box up here. Um, this is just directions for me. So I'm sorry. Ah, oh, things I'm going to talk about. So I'll move that over here. Okay, anyways, I'm not on a Chromebook anymore. So um, you're going to go ahead and open up a, a browser right here. And we're going to move it to the side. Ah, just like I showed you in the last video. So you're going to bring it all the way over here again. Okay. And now um, it tells me on number three, and I'm going to move this to over. Don't forget, if you're on a Chromebook, you might have to grab down here or move over, depending on if you have a touchpad. And it says that we need to place uh, these pages in the correct order that they are shown or displayed on Google Classroom. So you want to be really familiar with Google Classroom and how to navigate it. That's where I find that students have the most problem. So remember, we've already set up our Google app. So if I go over here in the top right corner, if I'm on Google.com, I can see my Google apps. So go ahead and click that and go ahead and go to Google Classroom. So we're going to go ahead and select it. And now that I'm here, go ahead and figure out what class you have, what period, go ahead and click on it. So I'm in here right now. I actually have the student view to show you. And uh, it says that we need to um, put the people, the classwork, and the stream in order. These are pages you can think of it like on Google Classroom. So if you look up here, we have the stream, this right here. We have the classwork and then we have people and we got to put in order which way they're displayed. So you can see stream comes first, classwork and then people. So we're going to go ahead and type that on number three back over here on A. We're going to go ahead and type that um, the correct order is that we have number one, the stream first. Okay, and then we have number two, you can put commas or whatever you want here. I'm not going to. And number two, we're going to put next, we have classwork. And I capitalized that one. I didn't capitalize this one. We'll capitalize it since they have it capitalized. And then the last one they have is people. So again, I'm just looking right here, the order. And number three is people. All right. So now it says, what can I find on the stream? So let's go ahead and make sure we're on the stream. If you didn't know this, every time you open up Google Classroom, you are on the stream first. So this is the stream. Now, you can see down here, I'm going to kind of move my face over here. Let's move my face over here. Okay, uh, that looks fine. Let's see if we can move this down a little bit. I'll move over. There we go. All right, so now that I'm over here um, on the stream, you can see that what you're seeing is my virtual classroom. Your teacher might have a virtual classroom. I have one. Okay, but um, this is where you tend to find announcements. So like you can see right here, I'm announcing to the class. Hey, welcome to the class, all that good stuff. Um, teachers sometimes will put syllabus on here. Sometimes you might see assignments on here. I make it to where I can't see the assignments, your assignments on this page. But anyways, um, the stream, again, I like to think of it as more as like announcements, but it could have other things. So we're going to go over here on B, and I'm going to go ahead and put, um, what, what can I find on the stream? Announcements. Now, just mention it can have other things. Can have other things. If you go on your um, Google Classroom one for your class, you might want to write what some of those other things are that you see on the stream. And this, remember, this is always the first one you see first, okay? And then it says, what can I find on the classwork? So I'm going to refer to these as pages. So the stream was first. Now if I click classwork, we want to know what we can find here. And now that I've clicked it, you can see that I have posted my virtual classroom. Your teacher might, might not have it posted. But this is really where you find your assignments. Okay, so you can see right here, these are assignments that I have. If I was a student, since I'm in a student view, that I would have that I need to complete right here. Okay, so you find assignments. You can find some other things. You can find quizzes on here if your teacher puts one on. I didn't put one on yet. Um, you can find questions on here your teacher might post and other material like their virtual classroom. Like I put my virtual classroom on here. But the biggest thing is classwork is usually the section you want to go to to find out what do I have to do, what assignments I need to get done. Classwork, classwork, classwork. Very, very important. So I'm going to go over here on C and I'm going to say what can I find on classwork. I'm going to put um, that you can find your assignments in capital letters. That's big. But you can find other things like you can find like quizzes. Let's put other things. So you can find quizzes. 
you can find questions if your teacher wants to post questions um, they can put material and we'll put like their google classroom if they have not google classroom a virtual classroom if they have one they might not anyways so those are the things that we tend to see on um, the classwork section okay now we're gonna go to the next one so where do i turn in assignments oh okay so where you're turning assignments is right here on the classwork section you might be able to still access them on your stream depending on how your teacher sets it up um, but you can always like get used to turning them in on the classwork that's a great section that's where you want to go to turn them in most of the time i would say all the time because that's where they are that that is all the time where you turn them in but you might still see them on the stream depending on your teacher but for me it's always going to be in the classwork section that's where you will turn everything in okay so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to put on letter d on um, where i turn in assignments you turn it in on the classwork okay i like to call it the classwork page again just so we can see that okay and then i just like to also show you what's on the people you can just see who's enrolled in the class you can see the teacher okay but you can't actually do anything over here all right so i'm going back to classwork now the next one so where do I turn in assignments? Classwork page. Okay. And now where do I find the due dates of my assignments? Guess what? You're going to find the due dates again on the classwork page. So I'm going to tell you the classwork page is very, very important. Again, you might see it on the stream, but for my class, I'm going to always show it on the classwork section right here. Here it is. So if you see right here, here are the due dates on the side. Okay. Very, very important. Classwork, classwork. That's where you want to go. Okay. You get first, you open up Google Classroom, you go to stream, but then make sure you go to the classwork section. Okay. All right. So um, that's it for number three.